I say that a lot of what Ellen White wrote came from Satan and not from God. Now then, don't take my word for it. Let's look at the writings of Ellen White and the Bible, and I'll show you what I'm talking about when I say that some of the things she wrote came from Satan and not from God. Now then, I'm, ge I'm getting ready to give you a citation of the Adventist, and you can actually find this book, and you can actually look on the page number I'm going to give you and find this quote. On page 55 of Patriarchs and Prophets, Ellen White says this, and I quote, We must set our hearts to know what is truth. All the lessons which God has caused to be placed on record in his word are for our warning and instructions. They are given to save us from deception. Their neglect will result in ruin to, our, to ourselves. Listen carefully now, Seventh-day Adventist. Whatever contradicts God's word, we may be sure proceeds from Satan, end quote. So what she's saying is if the son that it contradicts God's word, that it's coming from Satan, it's not coming from God. So with that said, listen carefully, Southern Adventist, I'm getting ready to give you another citation that, that, is, that actually exists, and you can find it. The Great Controversy of 1888, on page 345, that's down toward the bottom, Southern Adventist, to save some trouble from looking. Helen White says this, <clears throat> The kingdom of grace was instituted immediately after the fall of man when a plan was devised for the redemption of the guilty race, end quote. <clears throat> what? Ellen White is saying that a plan for the redemption of the guilty race was not instituted until after the fall of man? I think we've got a contradiction in words here, Southern Adventist. First Peter <clears throat> chapter 1, verse 18 through 20. For as much as you know you were not redeemed with corruptible things as silver and gold from your vain conversation received by tradition from your fathers, but with, but with the precious blood of Christ as a lamb without blemish and without spot, who was verily foreordained before the foundation of the world, but was manifested in the last times for us. Ephesians 1 4 says this. <clears throat> Accordingly, he has chosen us in him before the foundation of the world that we, we should be holy without blame before him in love. So it appears to me the Bible is saying that this was already in the mind of God before the world was ever formed. Foreordained the world. The world there is uh, the, the cosmos, which is as best I can understand, uh, covers the entire universe, not just the earth. Before the world was ever formed, it was already foreordained that Jesus Christ would die for sinners. <clears throat> Mrs. White, you contradicted God's word. And according to yourself, if you contradict God's word, it comes from Satan and not from God. So what you just said, Miss White, came from Satan. It surely did not come from God. Contradiction number two is in the making. Until next time, this has been Golly saying, God bless.